Hello everyone, how are you? I miss you very much, my dear kids. What are you doing? So as you know, there are some problems, some viruses in the country. That's why we are staying at home. So I hope everything will be fine. We'll go back again to school. We'll sit and we'll, you will chat. I, I, I am sure that you will comment. You will make me angry again, I suppose. Yeah. So, uh, okay. First of all, uh, let me say, health comes before everything else. That's why we need to be very careful. We need to stay at home, to be safe and sound. We need to wash our hands. For example, after you're playing with your toys or after you, before you eat your snacks or lunch, you need to wash your hands with soap, especially with soap because soap avoids viruses. So, we'll have some videos, video lessons, I mean. Uh, for example, first video lesson will be uh, about comma. So, let me see. Who remembers? comma what it is when we use it okay i give you one minute to think about it so right first of all it is part of a punctuation mark yeah it's a type of a punctuation mark that we need to take some short pause not as long as uh, with full stop but when we have repeated words in a sentence, so we need to use commas. Right. Let's see some rules about commas. When we use it, why do we need commas? To avoid repetition, maybe? Yes? Okay. Comma can be used to change the meaning of the sentence or separate items for example I have some friends their names are Nikki James and Philip so as you see I have some repeated items here so what do we need to put not so many ends but commas Right, we need to put commas in uh, between the items, but when we come to the last two items, we do not use any comma, right? Do you remember that we need to put and in between these last items, yes? Okay. So, okay, let's do some activities right now. Um, we have some shopping lists here and Zara is going to buy some fruits. So, she's going to make fruit salad. She needs some stuff. Bananas, berries, apples, oranges. Yeah. So, Zara is buying this stuff. You need to put commas in between them. Uh, you need some minutes to check this sentence and try to put commas in the correct place. I'll give you time. Okay, could you do this activity? Right. Now we have another uh, interesting activity with you. So there are four types of animals here. So you will see here, can you describe each of these animals using a list of three adjectives? So what we are going to do here, you are going to find three adjectives to describe these animals. So we have here shark, puppy, guinea and leopard. Okay, I give you some time to think about it and write some adjectives to describe these animals. Don't forget to use a comma and and. Right, so we have another activity here, telling using commas in lists again. As we know, Real to Red Riding Hood, everyone read this book, yep. We know that she has a basket and she has some yummy stuff inside in her basket. 
Now we have some items that she has in her basket. So you will write a sentence using these items and using commas in between them. So she has a cupcake, a jar of jam, a sandwich, an apple, some sweets. So she's going to give all these items to her granny. You need to write a sentence on your own. So you have some time to think about it and write. And the last activity we have here, she has a note from her mom. But her mom didn't use any commas. She used lots of ands. Let's avoid this repetition and write this note again. So you have some time to think about it and write this note again using commas. Right. I'll send you some files and you can find this video lesson in the link above and feel free to contact with me anytime and if you have any question if you have any mistakes don't forget to write me see you next video lesson that's the end of this first lesson see you i hope to see you again very soon i miss you very very much love you all bye bye